Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And before we get into it, I want to say Sneak DF did this tutorial first, but I'm just updating everybody on it because, um, like when you type it in and try to find this, it's a whole bunch of 30 minute long videos. So I just want to say shout out to him before we even get into it. But I'm a, I want to hook myself up with this tutorial, you feel me? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the safer light takes real simple and easy. So the first thing I want to do is new composition and just um, listen to everything I say and follow these settings on my screen and please follow this duration because you do not want to mess this up right here. But yeah, just follow all that and you want to hit OK. Now you want to go to file, you want to go to import, um, and then you want to hit file again. And basically, what you do after that is you just want to go get any 3D text you want. And I'm gonna get this right here. Make this for a client the other day, and you just want to drag this from up there. Now that you drag this from up there, you can go out and you just want to hold Alt on your keyboard and you want to drag this in just like so. And once you actually drag that in, it should not get messed up. And if you want to pull it out some more, you can. So now that you did that, what you want to do is you want to go to um, Layer and be clicking on that, and you want to put Auto Trace on. All right, and you want to make sure you hit OK, don't mess with nothing there. So when you put Auto Trace on, it should look crazy like that right there. And now you want to make sure you actually own it and hit Effect, and you want to hit Saber. Now I'm going to put the Saber effect in the description, but I'm not going to show you guys how to set it up, because literally when you download it and open this back up, it's going to work. You don't have to do nothing crazy. So um, you're probably wondering, like, why is it black and not showing? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. You want to go to Render Settings, then you want to go to um, composite settings and then put transparent and now you want to go to customize core and you want to put this on layer mask now that you put this on layer mask you want to put this on burning and basically when you do that it's going to have the animation going around burning you can change it throughout all these right here but I'm gonna just keep mine on burning right now um so yeah now that I have mine on um, actually burning we can just duplicate this layer right here so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it so you want to hit control and D, but you got to be holding control and then you hit D. So once you do that, you want to go to the one on the very top um, and then you want to actually clear the effect by clicking on it and hit edit and then clear. So now that you do all this, you should have this at the back, but you can actually change the color. So I'm going to change the color to white for the actual glowing effect, like going around. And now that we have this right here, basically what we can do is actually we can go to export by hitting file and add to render queue but before we do all this stuff first thing we gotta do is click on this right here and just make sure all of this is right copy what i have and it should say um render settings you can put best settings and then you go to output module down here and you put, click on that right there and it's going to say lossless and the format you want to choose is going to be quick time and the channels you want to do is RGB plus alpha. And once you do this, you can copy all this other stuff you actually want to also. But it should be like that since mine is default and it still works. So now that you did all this right here, uh, you're going to click on this. It should say output two. And once you do this, you want to, I just put mine in downloads. You can put it anywhere. It does not matter. So what I'm going to do is say animated stealth because the first time I did the wrong animation. So I'm going to just put part two. So yeah, once you do that, you can actually render it and I'm just gonna let this render and I'll be back when it happens. All right, so I'm back and my stuff actually got done rendering, but I just got out of class not too long ago, so I had to leave it and my recording got messed up. But basically what you do is when it get done rendering, you don't have to worry about anything because it's already gonna be in your files as soon as it get done. So what we're gonna do is move over to OBS and now we move over to OBS, we're gonna click on the little plus symbol, hit media source, um, you can change the name if you want to, but I'm just going to delete it right after. So you want to hit OK, um, hit Loop, and Browse. When you hit Browse, you just click on your file. It should already be there. So you can hit Open, and you can hit OK. And as you can see, my thing is animated, and it's not going to stop because I have a loop on it. If you do not put a loop, and it, or it is not working, you do not look at my tutorial. But yeah, you can do this right here, and it should work. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel And I'm sure that this video will help a lot of people out because I was one of the people that were looking for tutorials And I couldn't find one so I just hope I help you guys out and with all that I'm gonna end the video and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if this helped you out peace out